actually, I changed my mind. 2022, let's make things new. I'm not gonna be telling you what you need to do, what you don't need to do. I'm just gonna give you some information that you didn't have previously on these two hair growth hacks. And by the end of this video, you'll have a little bit more information that I don't really see on social media. And if you still wanna take biotin supplements or put eggs in your hair, be my guest, be my service to the rest. Let's get into this video. Started. Let's get into this video sponsors me, Sendow. Yeah, I have my first real like a copy, like a paper book. It is my 369 method manifestation journal, and this has been clutch for me in my life. Moving through all of these different things in uh, since 2019. So I have purchased these so many times that I was like, you know what? I want to try to make my own. So check the links in the description box below so you can get your hands on one of them but they are right here i love you guys so much thank you for letting me sponsor my own videos but boom let's get right into it before we get started talking about why you need to stop taking biotin why you may or may not want to stop taking biotin supplements let's first begin talking about what biotin actually is and its role within the human body biotin aka vitamin h that's what we call it today it's one of the key enzymes throughout the body's natural processes many natural processes not just hair growth but hair growth and your nail health and your skin health are one of those things biotin does not need to come from an external source biotin is created within the body within the gut actually there are microbes within the gut that create biotin within the body right so within your gut is basically where biotin and things of that nature are being created and dispersed throughout the rest of your body. Science has shown, and you guys can do your own research for yourself, there are no studies that show there is no biotin on the market that is more powerful than the biotin that your body makes on its own. You can also receive biotin very easy throughout stuff that you probably already have in your house. Like avocado, I know you like to put it in your hair, but did you know that if you made avocado a part of your diet, on a regular basis, biotin, or almonds, almond milk, eggs, just to name a few natural sources on this earth of biotin, aka vitamin H, right? So once again, we don't really need biotin supplements unless you have a biotin deficiency, right? Most people would think that they have a biotin deficiency, which we'll get to in a second, because a biotin deficiency naturally naturally is very very rare normally a biotin deficiency is only caused through some type of genetic disorder or from somehow your absorption being capped or stopped your body's natural ability to absorb um, nutrients and botanicals and all of that stuff right that normally will give you a biotin deficiency right let's keep going don't don't leave don't leave, I got some stuff. Because this biotin deficiency is gonna lead into one of y'all other favorite things to do. Stay with me, stay with me. So, I'll need you to know, biotin is a vital in the production of keratin within the body. And keratin is what your hair and nails are made of, right? So, biotin being in proper flow and all of that stuff is vitally important. And the, the flow of biotin should never be capped or disrupted or disturbed. Now that we know about biotin and what it does, now we need to get into what a biotin deficiency looks like or appears to be or feels like within the human body, right? So, a uh, biotin deficiency will show up as eczema-like patches. So, I'm not saying that a biotin deficiency is eczema. I'm saying that the, the way that your skin will look is like eczema, right? So, a lot of people get biotin deficiencies and eczema confused and a lot of times it's two completely different things right eczema like patches on the skin dry and flaky scalp a lot of scabs on the scalp for no reason like you may notice you're always getting scabs on the scalp even if you're getting scabs like the way you would get a scab if you got a relaxer for no freaking reason rash like symptoms and hair loss right a lot of hair loss you'll notice that your hair is shedding a lot more than normal or no matter what you do you're not able to retain length and you notice that your hair is just getting thinner and thinner and thinner. As stated 
previously a biotin deficiency is extremely rare and it only shows up in a couple of different ways the first thing is from some type of genetic disease that basically stops your body from being able to absorb nutrients the right way or from the consumption or the use of egg whites i know that it may sound crazy right so many people are like But I want you to remember that certain patterns of baldness we love to say are hereditary. We're in the reality. But the reality of the situation is a lot of the patterns of baldness that we have are not necessarily hereditary. But the patterns that we follow throughout our families and throughout the generations are habitual. So we need to switch it up. We have habitual habits that disguise themselves as hereditary diseases. But in reality, a lot of of us have been using eggs and stuff in our hair because for generations women have done it it started being all of the craze because cardi b came out with something that she does for her daughter and it's cool you know following fads and stuff on social media you know what you want to do but the reality of it is you must know the science of hair because if you know science of hair then you know which parts of things that you find online you can take for yourself or what parts you have to throw out right and in this case the part that you should throw out is the egg white now I'm not telling y'all to put eggs and stuff in y'all hair I don't believe in y'all making yourself into burritos and tacos and stuff if that's what y'all want to do be egg omelets then go right ahead I don't recommend it but the egg whites are what is leading to so many women having dry and flaky scalp because using eggs in your hair yes 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 you guys are noticing length retention not hair growth there is a difference what you guys are noticing from using that avocado mask with the eggs avocados are highly highly comedogenic so they're great at length retention when it comes to the actual oil right the oil is great for that and then mayonnaise is literally nothing but eggs and oil that is all mayonnaise is and a little bit of vinegar right so mayonnaise does not have any herbal complex or anything it is oil and eggs which is meant to block the cuticle and create a barrier so you're not growing hair your hair is growing like normal everybody's hair grows right but what's happening is you're now able to retain length because this mixture that you've made with this avocado mass is actually retaining length for you it's not growing hair it's actually scientifically impossible for the avocado and stuff like that to be growing your hair because most of the time the avocado itself cannot even penetrate the follicle right but this is where things get tricky the egg white itself has a protein within it called avidin and avidin is such a a powerful protein so powerful that its main objective whenever it touches anything with biotin in it is to link to the biotin and cap it so whenever whenever avidin caps the biotin on your hair shaft or within the body what it does is it limits the body's absorption and it limits the ability for the biotin to do its job within the body creating those other proteins like the you know when the hair shaft so this goes in connection with everything that i teach you guys about the natural hair growth cycle and all of those things the things that we talked about in the telogen phase so if you match Telogen effluvium and you know the stress and things like that if you match everything that I told you guys about telogen effluvium along with constantly rubbing eggs into the hair shaft and into the cuticle then we can really really see where these biotin deficiencies are coming from you'll do this avocado treatment and put eggs in your hair with the intention of you know increasing the moisture content or increasing the shine and all of that but everybody miss like small little nuggets and that's because people are just reading blog posts online so when you're just reading blog posts online and it's not the study of your life you don't understand the positive and negative properties of every vegetable every herb right so yeah eggs it'll help you to retain length it helps you to protect the hair shaft right and it'll help you yeah it'll help you to protect the hair shaft but the avidin that lives within the egg whites attacks and caps 
the biotin inside of the human body and biotin anywhere period so do your research on Avidin and what it does within the human body when it's absorbed. I need you guys to remember it's not necessarily relaxers that burn the scalp. It was the scalp not being properly prepared. Somebody scratching in the scalp and causing abrasions. So if there is any type of abrasion in the scalp or anything like that, anything that allows that egg white to penetrate your hair's follicle and enter into your body, enter the follicle and enter the bloodstream, once once that avidin reaches the enzymes aka the biotin inside of your body is going to cap it and over time over years because we're so into instant gratification that we think that if something if your hair doesn't fall out the first five or six times you use something that everything's okay but the reality is hair weathering and follicle weathering and all of these different things can take anywhere from a couple of weeks to years in the double digits to show up so I really want you guys to learn about everything that you put in your hair the pros and the cons now that we're getting into herbal hair care and stuff like that as a herbalist i want to let you know i love every herb every botanical on this earth but every last one is not meant to go in your hair it's not meant to be ingested into the body it's not meant to go on the skin not all of them are so let's do this our homework for the week is making sure that before you put anything in your hair especially if it's not already formulated and you have to make it yourself like it's some type of herb a food or anything that you're putting in your hair I need you to make a list and on that list I need you to list the pros and the cons but let me ask you this how many cons do you guys did you guys know about rice water how many cons did you do you know about eggs in your hair how many any cons do you know about aloe vera in the hair things of that nature you guys do what you want to do I'm not telling you what to do what not to do all I'm saying is make a list of your pros and your cons and then in the middle I need you to have a list of all of the things that you need what is your porosity what is your density what is your sebum level what is your skin cell turnover week all of these things are things that you need to know before you select a tool to help you manipulate your own personal hair and scalp profile if you need a little help getting your own personal hair and scalp profile together then oh my goodness make sure you go ahead and join my seven day challenge here on the screen you can see all of the different people who have already taken my seven day challenge and where they are right now you guys just think i'm sorry shameless plug for 35 dollars just one time not 35 dollars a month not $35 a week, not $35 a day, just one time, a one time payment of $35. You guys, we can completely dig up all of those old things from your old foundation and begin building a new one. But like I said, you can use biotin supplements until you blow in the face. Do that. But it's not needed because the chances of you having a biotin deficiency are very, very slim to none unless you've been drinking raw egg whites or putting eggs in your hair, raw eggs in your hair all the time. You don't really need to do that. It needs to be a super extremely aggressive, aggressive form of, uh, aggressive form of a biotin deficiency for you to need to take biotin like that to begin with I'm just being honest it is 10 times more beneficial for you to eat the eggs that you were putting in your head and for you to eat the avocados that you're putting in your head than it is for you to put it on your hair and on your scalp it's just it's just not you just don't just eat it and then have a, a proper routine join my seven-day challenge I'll tell you exactly what to do I love you guys so much